G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Chinny Cylinders. Today we're uh, talking about those rear rollers. So uh, I'm going to go ahead now and explain to you what I've got here. And uh, we'll have a quick look. Now today's episode will be all about um, what you're going to get and pros and cons for both. And then I'll shoot another video in the coming days of how to install the sleeves on your mower. So I'm a bit undecided at the moment which way I'm going to go. Um, and uh, at first I was going to just slip them on and see how we went. But this time I think I'm going to actually probably glue them down and uh, figure out the best way to do that. So I've got a few ideas in mind here. Um, so I'm just contemplating all my options at the moment and then I'll get, get into it. So look guys. Let's have a look at vulcanizing versus your uh, sleeves. All right, guys, here's your sleeve, right? Here's your sleeve right there. And here's uh, a set that I've had vulcanized for a customer that we're gonna put on his beautiful mower that we're doing at the moment. So what is the difference between the two? Well, let's have a look now and let's explain it. So what is vulcanizing? So vulcanizing is a chemical process which heats the rubber with sulfur to create a bond to mild steel or steel and stuff like that. And it's a really, really hard wearing way of um, rubberizing something. So here we go now. This is the, uh, the vulcanized set and that is on there for good. Like that is not coming off. Like it's a little bit costly, it costs a little bit of money to get done, but that thing is not going anywhere. You know, so you put this on your mower or your rear roller, sorry, you are not going to have to do that again. That's going to just stay there. Okay, so let's have a look and talk about some thickness issues here. So, or not issues, but look, this one's a lot thicker and it's just, it's bonded on there. That is never going to come off. Okay. And it's a bit thicker. So these guys do this all the time. This get this got done with Brisbane Cylinder Mower Specialists. Now I know you guys like George Bond Mods from Moparts Oz also offer this service. And this service actually is really, really quality stuff, okay? Got really nice grooves in it. Um, really, really nice. Now this slip on here, it's a bit thinner, okay? Um, but it's a one piece. So it's not gonna like come apart or split in the middle. It's not, it's not like you've got a cut in it and you've got a glue glue it all in, into position and then sort of figure out a way to stop it from coming apart. Look, that's a one piece. And I'm hoping that that just slides on, you know, your rear roller and uh, does it sing. So it'll be interesting to see how it works. Um, I wasn't going to stick it down. I was just gonna put it on, but I've decided now I'm actually gonna stick it down and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna use some Sikaflex. Um, it is sticky stuff, it's really good stuff. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put a liberal amount inside the, uh, in here, and uh, try and squeeze it on and then clean up all the excess around there and that should bond it. So it's saying it's got a very, very high adhesion there. Um, and uh, look, this stuff is not cheap. So that one tube at Bunnings was about 21 bucks. So it's not cheap, but I'm hoping that I don't get any slippage with that. So that's, uh, that's that. Now in terms of looks, okay. That one's there. It's there. Very similar. It doesn't really, I don't know. It's, I don't think you're going to notice it too much, but that, the vulcanizing, I reckon, does look better. But in saying that, it, this one hasn't been fitted to a rear roller yet, so we'll find out what that looks like. All right, so what about cost? So these are $169 with this groove set up, and these are $400. All you have to do is drop your your rear rollers in, and then they'll do this for you, bring you up, tell you to come pick them up. So once I paid for shipping, it was $194 here in Brisbane. Plus you've got your Sikaflex or some sort of contact or whatever you're gonna use. I don't know if this is, 
actually going to be the best. I'm, it's a bit of trial and error, so I'm going to use this, but that was 20 bucks, so the, it's 210 dollars. Now, that's half the cost of the vulcanizing, and it'll be interesting to see what sort of longevity you get out of the, the slip-on rubbers sleeves, because these aren't tested as such. Um, they should work, but this isn't something that has been around for years that we just know is, is going to work forever. So look, if you're looking to do something, you know, right the first time and just do it once, then you can't go wrong with vulcanizing. It's just, it's just a really good way of, of doing it. But if you want to save some costs and do it yourself, then I reckon this might be the, your option. So I'm going to fit them to a rear roller very, very soon in the next few days, like I said, show you how to pull your rear rollers out of your machine how to split it in half, how to apply this, and uh, let's see how they go. So thanks for watching. The next video will be on how to get this one sorted. So, all right, have a good one. Take care of each other. Chat to you soon.